Okay, everyone, what I want to do today is show you another reason why digital background sets are very powerful. And uh, if you're not using them in your business, you really need to pay attention and you really need to consider using uh, using these, even if this isn't your full-blown style of business or style of photography, to add this to your business is definitely going to add another dimension to your photography. And your customers will probably, not all of them, but uh, a lot of them will, will definitely pay attention to this and a lot of them will enjoy this. Uh, so what I wanna do is show you here what we have. We have basically like an old garage set, okay? We call it the Tire Garage Digital Creation Set. And uh, we just released this in our club. And what this is is basically some old tires, right? A pallet, we've got a toolbox, we've got an old floor here, and then we've also got, like I said, kind of like a wooden garage door behind us, okay? Now, this is real cool because we created this and it's all digital and you don't have to have all of this stuff in your studio. I get a lot of emails from people that say, Scott, I don't have the studio space and understandable. So this is a great way to get yourself in the game, okay? So what I wanna do is just Number one, I want to bring up some subjects that I'm going to be putting in here. I took all of these cutouts that I already did, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to throw these in here, drag them in here, and show you what we're going to create with them. And I'm also going to show you how I can take some additional backgrounds and overlay them on our existing background, uh, this wooden garage door, and make it even, di even more different. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag our first subject right here into this digital creation. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position him so it looks real, okay? And what I did here is I took and put him, I slid him behind the tires and the toolbox, okay? And this is something that we create in our digital creations. This is a cover-up layer. If I turn it off, you're gonna see that now it's in the back. And this now is in the front. So it's basically a carbon copy of this right here. So you can take the subject now and you can position him anywhere you want. It's like he's standing behind the tires, maybe on this side of the tires, wherever you want to position him, you can, okay? And the same thing with the toolbox. You can turn that on and off if you want, okay? But we just thought it added to the set. So I'm gonna bring him down just maybe a little bit. Then I have my vignette right here, which you can turn on and off. That actually just darkens it in. So you can see all of the options that I'm, I'm showing you are right at your fingertips. You can literally turn this on and off, okay? And um, it, it's, it's really, really powerful to be able to do this, okay? Now, the next thing that we can do is we can change this background right here real simple with some additional backgrounds. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna basically drag, let's start with this one right here, Grunge One. We're gonna drag this in here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna position it, but let me get it behind everything right now. So I just drag it down on top of, uh, just on top of the, the background, okay? And you can see that it doesn't look that real because it's too bright, doesn't match up with the floor. So you can play around with this now. Now what we can do is go to the blending mode and then go to multiply. And you can see it already looks more realistic, okay? Now we're showing parts of the garage door, the wood door through it, and we're giving it that grungy look, okay? Now, how long did that take me? Like 10 seconds to drag in my digital background and then do that? Uh, the other thing you can do is play around again with the blending uh, modes here, and we can go to hard light. Now it made it a little bit brighter, but then maybe I wanna play around with the opacity a little bit, so I can just turn that down and let that come through. I don't really like that, so no big deal. Let's go to soft light. Now well, that added a little bit more of a washed out look. That kind of looks cool. Then I can go to the overlay. That looks pretty cool. I think you get the idea. We can go all day with these different overlays um, on top of the existing digital background. Okay, screen makes it lighter. Uh, you know, you can just play around. I like multiply on this one. It gives it a darker look, still looks uh, real. And uh, let me just turn that off there. So then what I can do uh, now that we've just played around with all that for like a matter of like a minute and a half or two minutes, I'm going to play around with another subject because now I did the work. Now I want to play with other subjects in this same set. So let me turn him off and let me get back to my other subjects and let me drag in the girl. Now this one, let me get it on top. Now she is going to be in the foreground, almost like she's standing there and then this whole set's behind her. Okay. 
So maybe put her in like that, okay? And I can turn the vignette on and off. I like the vignette on it, okay? And then we have a totally new picture. And this background, if I don't like it, turn it off. Now we've got that background. Again, it's endless to, you know, of what we can do with that, okay? And as simple as turning it on and off, we can add these different these different looks. I have one more background, I believe, that I want to show you that I can add to that. And that's this one right here. And again, I'm just dragging these in at random. So let me turn this one off. Then I've got this one. I'm just going to slide this behind her. Again, I want to change the blending mode to multiply. It's a little dark. Let's go to hard light. Ah, that looks better. Let me go down here. And voila, we've got a whole nother look. But yet we have still the tires, we have the toolbox, or maybe I want to turn the toolbox off. No problem. Slide her over a little bit, fill in that void. You know, we can you can go on all day with doing these different variations with just that one set and a few digital backgrounds. So I just wanted to show you again the power of digital backgrounds and digital props and why adding these to your business isn't just going to bring you in more money, it's going to give you more options and it's gonna also allow you to expand your business without having to add a huge upfront cost. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to do in this video. Again, I enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you got a lot out of it. Let me know what you think below this video and I will talk to you real soon. Take care.